Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my new project, and I am, of course, touching on a genre I have not yet touched upon, which, honestly, I really should have. Considering that I am a ghost, I really should have done this earlier, and I have no clue why. But anyway, load complete. The horrifying procedure of loading in Tecmo. Alright, let's do this. Project Zero. Anybody that knows this game probably knows what that means. Fatal Frame! And, uh, I know it's gonna be weird, but I'm doing Fatal Frame 3. No real reason on that, it's just because it's the first one I ever played, and it's really the only one that I have that I've beaten at the moment. Um, so yeah. And also, I... I'm just weird with my Let's Play choices, kind of like how I chose to do the first Phoenix Wright, or the second Phoenix Wright game before the first one. So, yeah. Anyway, just a second here. We're going to be going in options. Now, um, okay. Uh, brightness. Here we go. Now, I'm going to be bringing this up a little bit to possibly help with the video's normal brightness, because this is a very, very dark game. Okay. So, uh, it's a very dark game, and upping the brightness a bit will probably help with you guys being able to see stuff. And I've put it up so that it's not, like, taking away from the dark atmosphere. But anyway, new game, and on normal. Let's do this. Should we get going? I heard this house was haunted. Too bad it's not. Mm. Rumors are just rumors. I'm gonna load these up. Okay, so, before we go much further, there are just a couple things I'd like to get out of the way. First and foremost, this game is not for the light-hearted, or the weak-hearted, whatever. This is a very, this is a dark, 
frightening game. If you are scared easily by minor things, then please, I urge you to proceed with caution. I'm not going to say don't watch the video, because this is a fantastic game that anybody who likes horror should play. But, if you are the kind of person that is just, like, debilitatingly scared of stuff like this, then I'd urge you to just be careful with this, because this is a scary, scary game. And second of all, even though I changed the brightness, I'm still going to bring this up, this is an incredibly incredibly dark game not like atmosphere but of course it is dark in atmosphere but you know what I mean the lighting is very very dark so if the video is dark I apologize in advance but there is actually no setting on my capture card to alter the brightness so I'll have to fix it up in editing if it needs it but please let me know if this video is really like debilitatingly dark so anyway let us proceed now, early on in this area, in this just starting area, you're going to in get introduced just a couple staples of this series, like this. As you can see, there is a ghost there, and there's a little ring that's turned blue. Go ahead and take a picture, and you get points, and then the ring has disappeared. So you can only take one picture of a ghost at a time. So, um, those points are going to be used later on, so no need to worry about those for now. But whenever uh, you see a ghost that is just standing there, take a picture of them as best you can. So hang on, go ahead and move this way, right here. And then run, and hello, another picture. Okay, so another 500 points. Now right here, now, oh, okay, before I go any further, because I know it's, it's looking like I'm getting every single one, this is not going to be 100% perfect. I'm going to miss a few of these. I'm not going for 100%, so I don't know where all these ghosts are. I don't, I'm not going to get all of them, so I'm just kind of demonstrating what you do and stuff. So head on in here. Oh, okay, now up here, different way. Okay, wait. Okay, now, this one is very tricky to get. Be careful. Walk forward. And then... There we go. 4,000 points. That one is impossibly... Um, that one is very difficult to get. Because if you're running forward, you're going to miss it. Trust me. They disappear very quickly. And as you can see, the reward for getting them is very, very good. Now, uh, go ahead on. And we will continue. Now, of course, not all ghosts in the game will just stand idly by while you do this. There are definitely ghosts that will try to hurt you. So, keep moving on forward. Alright, I know there's another one. Right there. Now, some of the imagery in this game is very... I'm not going to say gory, because it's not gory. There's actually no gore in the game whatsoever, but it is very disturbing. So be careful. Ugh, I hate this guy. Okay, so here we have a hostile ghost. And I don't want him to hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. <laughs> it's so stupid how he can, like, rise up the stairs. No, go away. Go away. No, no. What the? Ah! Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Holy frick. That did half my freaking health. Thank you. Oh, I hate that guy. He doesn't normally do that much freaking damage. But, ugh. And you can't take a picture of him. So, okay. I know I'm talking about this a lot, but I want to give you guys an example of... Okay, well, th this is just me, okay? This is not going to be the same for everybody. I know that, but I just want to give you an example when I played this game through the very first time, I when I would go to bed, I would basically lie awake in my bed in the dark, too scared to move, because I have kind of an active imagination about this kind of game. And so this horror, th this is a good horror game. If you think Resident Evil is a horror game, or at least now. I don't know about the older games, but if you think Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5 are scary, they're not. They are absolutely not. <laughs> but, of course, because it's scary, I'm going to be doing my job and narrating it and uh, trying to keep the tone kind of light, although I'm not going to be interrupting the cutscenes at all. So, 
I'm gonna try to diffuse the situation sometimes and make and keep things light, but I'm not gonna like destroy the the atmosphere or anything, or at least I'll try not to. Walk on down here. Are you okay? Oh, it, it was nothing. Well, crap. I didn't know we were playing Fatal Frame the whole time. I thought we were playing... something else. I thought we were playing Animal Crossing. Ugh, oh, man. I'm glad they had that title shoved in there so that I could know what I was playing after seeing the title, you know, on the title screen. And the box, and the disc. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, but anyway. This place is... Now, one of the things you might have noticed is that the voice acting isn't exactly top-notch. Of course, you got the entire cast. Well, not, not the cast, but, you know, all the main characters are Asian. And not one of their actors sounds Asian in the slightest. Either that or I just can't detect any accents. But anyway, let us enter this mansion that honestly would probably be one of the most beautiful buildings in the world if it wasn't, you know, haunted and run down and evil. But anyway, go ahead and walk down this hallway and take a picture of that girl. And that is another 500 points. Okay. We're not going to get into what those points are for just yet, but we will pretty soon. Maybe even in the next episode. So, yeah. Oh no, it's a room! Whatever will we do? Okay, sorry. So, go ahead and walk on up. And... Wait, where are they? Crap. No! Oh, oh, dang it, I missed them! Okay, well... 
Okay, well watch out for that because apparently this this little tiny red stick can block that. Now, there's something I should address right here just because this is kind of important. Um, in order to bring up your camera, you press triangle and then you press X to take a picture. Now, while you're in this uh, viewfinder mode, this first person, uh, the left analog stick controls your aiming and then the right stick can actually make you walk and aim. So it is, see, like you can walk around, you walk around very slowly, but um, I find myself almost never using this except to maybe just back up or move forward. Because if you've played this game before, I want to see somebody actually control well while they're doing that. Look up there and get that picture of that girl. I wonder who she could be. Let's go chase her. Something is reflecting light. And we get the Camera Obscura, which is the the main weapon of this entire series. Every single game in the entire Fatal Frame series uses the Camera Obscura as your main weapon. An old-fashioned bellows camera, some kind of occult markings and chased metal cover the whole body. It still looks to be in good condition. There's some old-fashioned writing carved on the back. Camera Obscura. Maybe that's the name of the camera? Okay. So... We get our weapon, which is the camera obscura, and you bring it up and you control it exactly the same way as your previous camera, which basically just did less. Okay, now, as you can see down there, you see the Type 7 and the Type 14. Now, Type 7, this is your film. The film in the game is your ammunition to fight uh, ghosts. And on, honestly, and also this is just kind of beside the point, I want to know the executive that went up to the developers and said, let's make a game where you fight ghosts by taking pictures. Oh yeah. Now anyway. Okay. File. Now, in the other you have, that, that's the picture of you. When you get special pictures in the game, uh, they're put in this photos area. It's not just every other, it's not every single picture you take. So anyway, basic operation. Now... Right here, the filament, this filament on the screen, oh, well, here, let's see. Uh, can we see it? Aha, you see, right down there next to your health bar, you couldn't really see it. Uh, there, right next to your health bar, that filament down there, right to the left of it, when that uh, lights up either blue or red, there's a ghost nearby. Blue for um, harmless and red for hostile. Now, let me see here, is there anything else that I can really talk about? Because I don't want to just drag this video on with explanations. Okay, filament, and... Okay, so it's just uh, talking about the general controls. Okay, so uh, let's get into the points. I'm going to make this quick. As you can see, you get points by taking pictures of ghosts, whether or not they are hostile or, um, you know, harmless. There we go. Now, the photo points up there on the top you use them to upgrade your camera so you can get more stuff, more range, more power, all that good stuff. And then you can also upgrade lenses, like upgradable lenses that you find throughout the game, which we don't have any of them yet, but we're going to be getting onto them uh, later. So, um, I think for now I'm going to go ahead and end it off because mostly this whole video was just getting blitzed by cutscenes. And honestly, not really a whole lot was accomplished, sadly. But don't worry. Next time, we won't have any cutscenes to start off with, and we will be able to just go right on into this. So, I will see you guys next time on Fatal Frame 3, where we actually get into the game. So, see you guys later.